Do you want to have super amazing headlines that sell? Hey, my name is Michael from Viral Home Based Pursuits. And in this video, I'm going to go over and show you what you need to do to write better copy and headlines that is going to sell. But before I do any of that, if you haven't seen my channel before, if this is the first time I come out with videos on how to do online marketing, how to monetize a blog, how to use sales funnels, um, you know, all through the affiliate marketing vehicle. Uh, don't forget to subscribe too. I'm going to have more information underneath this video too if you want more access to other videos and other resources. Um, this is another part of the sequence on how to write better copy. I have another video down there below you can check out as well. Um, so I'm going to go on to the share screen and I'm going to show you um, the four different things you need to know to write uh, better copy headlines. Um, and also I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, why you know, your headlines at the moment are not converting if you've already been trying. Um, the reason why your headlines are not working so well is because you're not targeting the right audience. You know, you're getting frustrated taking all this time and energy into headlines that just suck. And it's not converting because you're not speaking to your audience. It's not what they want. Um, and it's not structured appropriately. And you're just going to give up the more you do it. And if nobody reads your headline, they're likely not going to read your sales copy, right? The whole purpose of a headline is to get somebody to stop what they're doing, right? If they're scrolling on Facebook, wherever it is they're going on Google, uh, looking up a post, a video, is to catch their attention with the headline, right? And that's the purpose of it. So let me go ahead and get on the, get on the share screen. So here are some four headline tips. Number one being how to's, right? When people look at a headline, they want to be able to know how they can seek pleasure or go away from pain, avoid the pain, right? That's what you need to speak to, speak to their problems. And I talk about that in another video as well. Talk to their problems, how to's. And I have some examples down here. You know, one headline can be how to get a better chemistry test score on your next chemistry test. So they want to go to pleasure. They want to get a better chemistry, chemistry test score and they want to do it on their next chemistry test. So they're seeking pleasure to that. How to double your traffic conversions in as little as 50, as little as five days, right? That's something that they want most. And another thing about how to's is you can add how to what they want the most, what they desire the most without what they fear the most, right? You can have a desire that they want and without the fear that they have. And so that's a great way to begin. And that's what I, I was doing at the very beginning. Uh, and I was meshing the two together. Here's another one. How every new affiliate marketer can become a super affiliate in less than a year. You know, that's curiosity based right there. And that wants to make your reader like opt in, read more of your blog posts, take more action on watching your video and do more and so forth. So another way, number two, ways to get what you want, right? I want something and these work very well for videos and blogs, not to say they couldn't work for like sales funnels and stuff like that, but I use these a lot in my own videos and my own blogging content with my health and wellness sites and my other one as well. Three fast ways to get a better chemistry test score and avoid failing your class. Whoa. Okay. That's, that's pretty curiosity based. People want to know And a list post is always helpful when you're doing things in a video or you're doing it in a blog format. Those work very well. Five quick and easy ways to get rid of lower back pain naturally, even if you've failed over and over. So, you can even add the even part adds more frustration to them, right? That's something that they have a problem with. The even is picking on that problem that they currently have and then amplifying it. You want to amplify the problems that they have. And that's what I'm doing with the even. Now. And so now there's also number three, mistake headlines. So which of these back pain mistakes will you make? You know, oh, they, these are the mistakes. I don't want to make them. I want to avoid them. Which of these lower back pain treatment mistakes will you make? So they want to know what those mistakes are so they can later prevent them and then go on the right track. Lower back pain training mistakes, all new recruits need to avoid. Whoa, see, that's one they want to go and avoid, not seeking pleasure right away, but going to avoid first. And then there's the warning ones as well. These you got to be a little bit more careful of. They can speak to more of a broader sense and some people can, you know, get a bit agitated if it's not, you know, they read through and they're like, that's not what I wanted to read, but it's also good warning. Here's what every, uh, let's just say that. Right. Here's what every new affiliate recruit needs to know about affiliate marketing and bootcamp. You know, my proven 100 day method to double your conversions. Now that's another one. So warning those, those are, 
those are ones you can add on to like sales funnels. They work well if you add them at the very top. There's like three different headlines. You can have the one at the top that says attention grabbing, right? It's more attention grabbing. Attention, uh, lower back pain patients. Attention, super affiliates. And then you can go into your other main headline and talk more about it and like use your how-tos and the other ones I have here for you. So those are very helpful to do. Um, that's how you can write headlines that sell with those four headlines. Um, there are many different ways you can go about it. Uh, and these aren't the only ones. And, you know, to, to make your, to make your copy better, um, you want to also test. You don't want to just rely on one. You want to continue testing over and over again. If you have a sales funnel in place, you know, test them out, test two different ones out and see which ones work the most, but you want to control everything else and you want to just change the headline. Don't just change one variable and control the rest of it, right? Have controlled variables, have independent variables, right? And so the headline is usually what you change. And that's usually what I change with my copy and my blogs, my sales funnels. If it's a Google AdWord, Facebook, you know, I can go through all of that right now, but I don't want to spend for the sake of time. I don't want to spend, you know, on blogs, on sales funnels right now, going through all of that. But um, I have other videos below where I talk about sales funnels, blogs, and stuff like that. And, and I go even deeper on how to write better copy for them. And you can actually see the copy that's in these and you get free templates for them if you want to know more about them. But these are the four headline tips you can go over and you can come up with something really fast and efficient, right? For your blogs, for your videos. Um, and those are examples you can go through. And I also have more videos again, like I said. Um, it's a lot to cover in one video. We'd be here for hours covering my blogs, covering videos on, on sales funnels and stuff like that. But that's how you go about it. Those can sell, right? You want to catch the attention of your reader, your dream customer, the person that you're talking to specifically. And then they're going to want to read the rest of your sales message or they're going to want to read the rest of your content on your blog, uh, know more about your video and so forth. So catch that out there, put them in your YouTube videos, put them in your blogs, put them in um, sales funnels, and they're really going to help take it to the next level. Now, if you want to know more about how to write headlines that sell, I recommend that you pick up a free book. It's free plus shipping, but it's one of the best books. And I wish I would have, this would have been available a long time ago, but it's called Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edward. Maybe you've heard about it, um, but that's a book that is going to give you a lot of examples and it's going to go through it all and even more in depth. And it's amazing how much content is actually in there uh, for what you get it worth, what it's worth. And it's really going to take it to the next level and you're going to write copy and headlines, not just, not just headlines, but it's going to give you everything from like email ads, um, sales messages, how to incorporate them into sales funnels, video blogs and stuff like that. And it is by far, I think one of the best books that's out there. Jim Edwards is a genius at this. He also is a creator of funnel scripts. Um, I'll actually see if I can leave a URL to funnel scripts so you can demo it out but you can actually like within a second come up with great headlines for emails, ads, whatever it is you want. Um, you just put a little, you know, your niche in there and then you just convert and it comes up with topics for you that fast. So that's how you can go about it. Look through the videos below, look through the resources that I have. These are just some quick examples that you can go through that are going to really drastically change and help you out and write headlines that sell for blogs, videos, you know, you're doing podcasts, you're using sales funnels. These are ways to get your attention to um, your audience and go that extra mile, right? So if you have any questions, make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you want to know more, if there's something that I left out, if you want more examples, um, go ahead and let me know. I know that I could have been spending like the next 30 to 40 minutes going through blog examples, going through sales funnel examples and so forth, but just to keep it nice and simple and keep it maximum to what this is. This is great enough right here. All right. So that's everything. Thank you. And I will talk to you at another time. Thanks.